So India was celebrating Diwali yesterday. It was very, very nice. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday, he informed people to light up candles, lamps, flashlights or torchlights at home at 9 p.m. for 9 minutes on April 5th to display a nation collective spirit to defeat the coronavirus. Honestly, to say the truth, what's happening right now in India, it's not the virus which is attacking the country. It's the people who's destroying the country by not listening to the government. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Dubai Tamilans YouTube channel. My name is Yashi. Today is April 6, 2020, Monday. A very good morning to everyone who's watching my video. Yesterday, I saw this videos. In fact, I saw the news. The entire India, at least 90% or I could say 80%, getting united and lighting up the candles and staying at home with a lamp, with a torch and using the phone to show the world they're united and they are strong enough to defeat this coronavirus. On the other side, unbelievable, really unbelievable. People celebrating Diwali, bursting crackers in the air, putting up laser lights, music. In fact, the worst part is People are gathering and walking like a big, like a parade in the streets with a huge fire, without the mask, without a protection. There's no social distance in this. Everyone are close together, people dancing. You know guys, let me tell you one thing very clearly. Again and again, I'm trying to put this as a PowerPoint for you guys to understand. The reason is because you have no idea what this virus is going to make your country, I mean our country, destroy. I live here in UAE. I'm saying this every time and I'm proud enough to say this, that we live and work here. And the nationalities who are here are not only the Indians. You have the world here. You know what's the best part here? Everyone are united. Everyone listens to the ruler, listens to the authorities, listens to the government, listens to whatever the order they give. You know why? We all know. If we don't listen to the orders which is given here in UAE, we all are going to... That's it. But in India, you all don't care. I'm not saying everyone. 80% of Indian citizens, with respect, they are listening to the PM, to the police, to the governor, and they are at home respecting and doing what has to be done. The other 20% in India, God bless you guys, I have no words seeing videos yesterday. It is extremely bad. Celebrating, dancing. You know, this one is to show how united India is and how strong they're defeating this coronavirus. At the same time, this is also a respect for the frontliners who are in India. Once again, the frontliners right now in this world who are facing this virus, they're not humans. They're angels. They are risking every part of their life. They are risking everything in their life just to save us all. This is something we have to respect them for. Not only in India, all over the world. There's no nationalities for frontliners. There's no religion for frontliners. They save each and every one. It's not about any religion or any nationality. Everyone is equal. That is the respect which was given yesterday by 80% of Indians. And the other 20% it's like a New Year's Eve for them, celebrating, bursting crackers. I saw a video, the entire city, or I could say, that's a huge community, I believe. There were at least around 10 to 15 flats. Every flat has a flashlight, a disco light, music and a DJ. Shame on you. This is nothing to be celebrated. This is something we have to respect what the PM said, what Modiji said. We have to do that. Did you see him celebrating or did you see any celebrities in India celebrating? They all were going according to PM's idea. Even the sportsmen. The worst part is they brought kids to the street and they are marching like a parade with this huge fire torchlight and walking as though they've got a big freedom about this. I'm sure you've seen this video. The entire India was so nice to see 
the lights burning in the balcony, people holding torch lights, lamps, that was supposed to be. And if you zoom to the other side, it's like Lala Island on the move. Honestly guys, this moment, you guys know you're watching the news. The virus is spreading like nobody's business in India. You are making it more worst. You guys are spreading it more worse. End of the day, because of your carelessness, a lot of people who are there, innocent, clean, who wants to live the life, who scared about this and who wants to see the future, they will be leaving us because of your carelessness. Unacceptable guys, trust me. I got few messages yesterday and I got few messages today morning for my brothers and sisters from India. There were many messages which is a proud to see, a proud moment to see that messages united. And there were few messages to see. It was so shameful to see those messages. I have no idea in what concept or in what idea they had to celebrate this uh, event which is yesterday. <sighs> Guys, this is something serious you have to work on for this. If you're not going to take this serious, I am telling you, India will extend the lockdown. India will extend the lockdown. People who are suffering right now because of your stupidity, people who are suffering right now without food, without water, without job, they will all leave this world. This is the only best way I can explain this. Please guys, stay united, stay at home, work and fight for this virus to get out of India soon. You guys know India is a huge country. Trust me, if you guys are not going to control this virus, it's going to go for a toss. I wanted to do this video yesterday, but then I was thinking, should I do it or not? Then I said, okay, let me do it today in the afternoon. Right now, the time here in Dubai, it's around 3 p.m. This is the time which I wanted to do this video. I was really, really upset to see people celebrating. In fact, people also was asking me who are here, the other nationalities, who are my friends, who are my brothers and sisters, do you know why India is celebrating Diwali? What's Diwali yesterday? Are you allowed to celebrate Diwali in this period? I said, no, it is not Diwali. We are not celebrating Diwali. There were some, some dumb people who thinks this is a huge celebration and they wanted to celebrate. And there were some people also saying, this is just to celebrate and to cheer up the people who are sick and who are suffering. Guys, this is not the way to cheer them up. This is not the way to make them understand. The only way to make them understand is what the other 80% of Indian citizens did. To be united, to stay at home, light the candle, pray for that nine minutes. Respect that nine minutes. This is all they wanted. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. This will never happen anywhere in this world. India, in this period, in this coronavirus period, hats off guys. You bring religion to this. Now you're celebrating Diwali. You guys are not respecting the uh, governor. You're not respecting the police. You're hitting the frontliners. You bring religion, you don't care about this. For who are you living? You're living for yourself or for the world or for your family? If you're living for your family, you listen and stay at home and be in a good status to fight and to get rid of this virus. But you guys are not bothered. So because you're not bothered, a lot of people are getting suffered. Guys, honestly, I have no words to share, but I'm just a little bit... They don't understand. So it's not. that's why I don't really speak about this unwanted topics which happens in India. But yes, I used to speak and I am speaking and I will speak about the good things which happens in India, which I am really proud of. Whatever step Prime Minister Modi ji is doing right now, whatever step the frontliners are doing right now, whatever step the governor, the police is doing right now to save the country. So guys, let's get back on track. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so that any video I post, you have a notification. If you like this video, give me a like and share this video with your family and friends. Pass me your comments, your suggestions in the comment section below. I will surely reply for the positive message. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you as soon as possible with another vlog. Till then, do whatever you want to do. Please, please keep your hands clean. Wear the mask whenever you step out. Have social distancing. Please. Save the country. See you in the next vlog.